Calgary Flames season is done. Last yep. game was yesterday. Uh, we talked either yesterday or the day before about seeing Dustin Wolf. Uh, we saw him, and you know, I know it's just the San Jose Sharks, but still, he looked good. Like Dustin Wolf looked really good last night for the the Calgary Flames. Um, Matt Coronado as well. Good to see them both do the rookie lap, take separate routes, almost as if it was planned. Uh, the pass <laughs> along the blue line, the whole deal, the parents in the stands, real nice touch. Uh, a yeah. nice way to end it here for the Calgary Flames. We talked about the Flames a little bit yesterday. Um, does the uh, emergence of Dustin Wolf complicate things for Brad Treliving or whomever is the general manager that needs to make that decision? I look at it this way, Jeff. When you've got a kid like that who's dominated the American Hockey League and is arguably the MVP, then I don't look at that as a complication. I look at that as a great thing. And to me, like, there's no point in having that kid in the American Hockey League next year. They've got to find a spot for him. So, yes, they, they will have to do that. Now, the other question you answered, yes, I think we're going to find out reasonably quickly what we're thinking about here with the Flames. Um, you know, what True Living wants to do. I've said this a couple of times this week. Uh, he was offered an extension. He punted it. Um, I, I think he's, you know, I, I think, like, I, I think that, I don't think it's not that they don't want him back. I just think he has a big decision to make. He's been there a long time. Um, and sometimes in life, we all need change. So I think he's deciding if this is the time or if, um, you know, he wants to stay on and, and see it through. Um, you know, I think some of the people around him have been extended, uh, you know, uh, so there is a framework potentially in place if they need it. Like, I think Don Maloney has been extended. I think Craig Conroy has been extended. So, like, I don't necessarily know what, what, if that means that that's the situation, but I think they've kind of said, mm-hmm. okay, well, if our GM does leave, you know, we're not going to be in a power vacuum here. They've got something there. So, I, but I, you know, I, like to me, the other big thing there is we're about to have exit meetings. They've got a bunch of really good players who've got one year left. What are those players going to say? Yep. Like, you know, from the Chris Tanis to the Noah Hannafins to the Tyler Toffoli's to the Elias Lindholm's to the Michael Backlund's, you know, I mean, I'm sorry if I'm forgetting anyone. I like to be inclusive. You know, what are what are those guys going to say? Because, you know, I, I think that that probably yeah. will determine as much as anything else what the future role of the organization is. I I think Sutter's coming back. I, I don't, like, he's got, like, an 8 million extension there, and he's not a guy who would walk away from that. I mean, I don't know who would. I, I got to think Sutter's coming mm-hmm. back. So all of this is a puzzle that's got to fit. 